Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I think this is video number 12. Um, I have a little remote and I have a tripod now. So I'm still working on the angle, but hopefully you can see a little better of what I'm gonna do today. And I don't have to reach into the phone, into the camera there, I can just turn it off with my remote. So the little things in life that make us happy, right? So today I wanted to show you how you could um, stay healthy and not have to worry about it in the morning. So if you do some meal prepping the day before and you get it set, the next morning you don't have to worry about it. Just pop it into the oven and you're good to go and it's got all kinds of healthy immunity boosting things in it and it's delicious. So you ready to go? <laughs> okay. So the first thing we're gonna do, now online you can find recipes for keto English muffins. And really that is the muffin recipe that I follow, but I change it up a little bit because of course I change everything up a little bit to fit my needs a little better. So we're gonna start with the muffin mix first. So it calls for three tablespoons of almond flour. So, my tablespoon measure, and I pack it. I do a packed tablespoon. So, we have one, two, three tablespoons of almond flour. And again, I pack it. I don't use it loose, okay? And the original recipe, if you look online, calls for coconut flour. And I have used coconut flour also, but I love flax meal in it much better. So we had the three tablespoons of almond flour, and now we're gonna go with a half of a table. So I do have coconut flour if you wanna go that route. Um, but I really enjoy the flax meal in it. So we're gonna go with a half a tablespoon of flax meal, okay? And now we do a half of a teaspoon, where's my baking powder, of baking powder, and try and go with the aluminum free, but you know, for now, when we're in quarantine, whatever you have in the house will do. So a half of a teaspoon, this is a quarter teaspoon measure. A half of a teaspoon of baking powder. A pinch of salt, where's my salt? Oh no, where's my salt? Did I put it away? I think I put my salt away. I did put my salt away. Okay, a pinch of salt. There we go. And then we're going to mix this. Those are all the dry ingredients. Okay, so you can see me now a little bit while I'm doing it. This is awesome. Okay, and you wanna mix it thoroughly, okay? You wanna, if there are any clumps, you know, you wanna get the clumps out of it. Now, we want to add in to this. We have one egg, okay? One egg. Scramble that, okay, and scramble it well, right? Hope everyone's doing well today. Here in Jersey, oh, it is just rainy and cloudy and cold, but the sun's supposed to come out tomorrow, right? Should I break out in song for you? I don't think so. Okay. So we've got a scrambled egg. We've got a tablespoon of melted butter. Now, I if, I love the curry gold butter, okay? So I will not use anything else anymore. It's phenomenal. So you wanna take the melted butter. Well, I'm actually gonna put the egg in first. So we're gonna put the egg, okay? Mix that. Now the butter is melted, 
but it's not real hot. I had it sitting out for a few minutes here um, because you don't want to put like piping hot butter into the egg. It'll cook it in sections and that won't taste very good. So, you know, we've got that mixed well. And now we're going to add our butter in. Okay, mix that. So we've got our flax meal in here, our almond flour, all right? You mix that well. All those are really healthy for you. Now, you're gonna spray a ramekin. I want you to see the different sizes I have. So here, this fits inside of this, it's inside of this one, right? We don't want the real tiny one. We want the medium sized one, okay? So we're going to spray this. I use the olive oil spray, but you can use coconut oil spray, which I have also. I just don't want the coconut flavor in it today. So we're doing olive oil because I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this, okay? So now we take our mixture and we put it into the ramekin there. Wait do you see how this turns out. Okay. So, and you wanna get that, you know, you want it to be even in your dish, okay? A little bit there. Now, this goes in the microwave for 90 seconds and then it's done, okay? So, I'm gonna put this in the microwave and I'm gonna show you what else we're gonna do with this finished product. So 90 seconds in the microwave. All right. Now we're gonna make like a casserole um, or a baked, baked egg mixture, okay? So we're gonna take the bigger ramekin, we're gonna spray this olive oil spray. Okay, now, Here's where things come in with me because, you know, I like to weigh things, right? Because I don't want to have too much protein in my diet. So I'm going to put this on the scale. All right, now, I already have some of the bread made. And I'm going to show you. We're going to take about, uh, I'll say this is, 0.8 of an ounce we have here, 0.8. Okay, you don't have to get real, and I'm gonna cut it into cubes, okay? You don't have to get real technical. I just get real technical because I don't like to have too much protein. Um, but I wanna make sure I have enough protein too. So, we'll cut it up in cubes and put it in here, okay. This turns out so good and it's so loaded with healthy immune boosting things, which is, you know, what everybody, all the craze is right now, trying to keep our immune system healthy, right? Okay, so that is 0.8 ounces in there. And now, let me get this out. This is done. I'll show you how that puffed up. Look at that. So it's an English muffin, so to speak. Now people ask me, well, does it taste like an English muffin? Does it taste like Thomas's English muffin? No, it does not. Okay, but it's delicious. It is delicious. So now, we have 0.8 of an ounce there, and I'm going to start adding in a little bit of meat. Now, I did sausage, and I have chicken sausage, um, I, you know, uh, Whole Foods, or if you can find a local butcher that will do like a grass-fed chicken sausage, it's phenomenal. I love the spice. If you're really into doing it homemade, oh, more power to you, but I'm not a... Uh, I'm not doing that. So I have some cooked sausage here that I'm going to put in. So I had 0.8, um, I'm probably gonna do like 
now here on the sausage. Okay, so it's not much. It's not much, but you gotta wait and see how the flavor's gonna take, uh, take on here. Okay, now I have my cubed cheddar cheese. So we're gonna do, um, let's see, point eight and point four. We're gonna do like point three here. Okay, perfect. So look at that. I'm pretty good at eyeballing this. Uh, but the cheese I'm gonna take out because I wanna chop it up really fine on top. Okay, so now we're going to put vegetables on top of this. So I had some sauteed mushrooms and onions, which we'll put on top. Now, when you cook, like for dinner, cook extra because you can always add things to your meals. Like vegetables, who wants to sit and cook vegetables in the morning? But you know what? I made those last night. And so now I can just toss this in my breakfast uh, casserole. So I had some sauteed spinach and I had some sauteed mushrooms and onions. Put that on top of the little bit of sausage and the little bit of bread, English muffin that I had there, right? And now we're gonna get another scrambled egg. Show you, scramble this. Okay. And clean my fork off here. Okay, so we're gonna scramble this. And then you can season your egg. I mean, I like to put all kinds of meat spices in my food. Um, so I'm gonna scramble this. And I'm going to put a little water to thin it out a little bit, but you can put cream or milk if you want to do that also. But I'm just going to put a little bit of tap water in here. Okay. And now I'm going to add some spices. You're going to see how weird those spices are, but um, turmeric. You know, it's supposed to be immune boosting and wonderful for us. So I will put, this has a strong flavor. So, you know, you may not like it, um, but I put that in. Um, and then a dash of dry mustard. Again, you don't have to put these spices in. I just like a little bit of zing, you know, to my food. So I have some spices and we mix that up real well. Oh gosh. And then this actually sits overnight because you want the bread to um, soak up the egg mixture. But while I'm, I'm gonna just grate this cheese a little bit, you know, real fine because it's not a whole lot of cheese, but I want the flavor throughout the casserole. So I will just cut this up in tiny pieces. And I love cheese again. If you've watched my videos, you know how much I love cheese, right? Hopefully this is better. You can see me better, but you know what? I have to figure out the angle still a little more, um, but I'm working on it. I was all proud of myself that I was able to use the remote to turn this on and off. I said, it's like people, right? Sometimes you wish you just had a remote to turn them off. Uh, so, although this quarantine is helping, I don't have to worry about turning too many people, just hitting the switch and turning them off. So now I chopped up that little bit of cheese I had and put that on top. And then I'm gonna pour the egg mixture over the top. And now an egg is about one and a half ounces. And then I have one and a half ounces of protein um, in here because between the English muffin, the sausage, and the cheese, that was one and a half. So now that totals, um, you know, three ounces of protein. So now, I have it sitting here in the bowl, in the ramekin, right? And I'm gonna let this sit overnight. And then tomorrow morning, I'll pop it in the toaster oven and put it on 375 for about 20 minutes. It is so good. 
and so immune boosting. There are a ton of vegetables in there. There was the sauteed spinach, the mushrooms and onions, um, the little bit of grass-fed chicken sausage, spices. Oh, you know what else? Because I love garlic. I am going to throw um, one clove of chopped garlic on top as well. And then I will just bake that. Um, but whatever you like and whatever you have, because the key to eating vegetables is putting what you like. You know, if you're not going to like spinach, then clearly you don't put that in. I made it the other day with broccoli. So whatever works for you, again, whatever vegetables you have the night before, make extra. Then you can throw them in any kind of recipe and you get all your vitamins in, it's immune boosting, hopefully keeps us healthy, right? So try this, you're gonna love it. Oh wait, let me show you, um, before I leave you, the English muffin, okay? I am going to turn it over, take it out of the ramekin. Okay, so we have an English muffin, so to speak. You know, oh gosh, you know what else I do with these? I'll make uh, French toast with it. So I take this, now let me see, you're getting two videos in one, and then I'm going to slice it thin. So this, I will slice into three slices, okay? So make sure you have a sharp knife doing this because it's, you know, kind of fragile. So you wanna slice this into three slices, okay? So here's one of the slices and I'll put this in the fridge now and or you can freeze them as well and then I'll make French toast out of it. They're phenomenal and you know, much better for you than an English muffin. So again, hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope my angle was a little better. And now I get to turn it off with my remote. So have a wonderful day. Bye. Or maybe not. <laughs>